Hi guys, and welcome to Devlog Zero. Today I want to show you a project that I've been working on recently, a first person shooter game with some interesting items and movement. My game engine of choice is the Godot engine, and the gameplay you see on screen is the state of the game as of right now. I currently do not have a name for it, so hopefully you guys in the comments can give me some suggestions. I would really appreciate that. My goal for this game is to create a very fun player experience with satisfying combat and movement, as well as a whole bunch of creative levels that increase in difficulty. I'll make many more videos about the progress of this project if you guys do happen to enjoy this one, so if you do, please leave a like, it would make my day. As of right now, the game has three weapons that you can switch between with the numbers on the keyboard. An AR type weapon that has turned out to become a water gun with quite satisfying particle effects, a flamethrower that has some crackling audio, although you probably won't be able to hear it right now. Um, I, I just, I've modeled the flamethrower in Blender and then imported it into the game. It's the only one that I've modeled so far. Hopefully I'll be able to model all of the rest of the weapons. So. So that will come in part two of this series. Uh, the player controller I spent a lot of time on and made a lot of revisions to because a, a massive part of what I want this game to be is a satisfying game to parkour in. At the moment I only have this one level with some elevated platforms but I want to make a whole bunch of uh, long and interesting levels that you can jump from platform to platform while shooting at the same time. Uh, the physics doesn't have to be super accurate. I'm more focused on making this entertaining rather than realistic and hopefully developing an art style that is quite simple uh, and, e and easy to look at. The, the, the blocky feel of the uh, enemy models that I have right now I think really works with the uh, material that I've chosen for the floors so I'm probably going to extend that to any other uh, elements that I decide to add. The game currently has a few bugs and glitches uh, especially with the flamethrower as switching between weapons fast can sometimes cause the flamethrower to keep firing even when it's not selected. Um, ho hopefully I'll be able to fix that soon. It is a bit frustrating but I'm gonna keep trying. Uh, the other thing is with the camera, firing the water gun sometimes makes the camera move downwards slightly and I think that has something to do with the camera shake that I decided to try and implement which wasn't as successful. Also, the bullet decals on the ground don't stick properly, and I receive a whole bunch of errors to do with that. Um, I, I, my theory for that is that it's just misaligned, but the good thing is that now my water gun doesn't really requ require any of those decals on the ground, so I think I'll be able to just take that out of the game completely. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap it up now, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time.